Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer DeBona and I do business as That CAD Girl. That CAD Girl is a charter member of the original Carlson College and we provide training and support for Carlson Software, AutoCAD, and IntelliCAD. Thank you for watching. So for this video, I'm using Carlson 2020 with IntelliCAD. And I'd like to show you a couple different ways you can draw a building footprint in Carlson and in Telecad. So the first thing to understand is just, and actually just to recognize, is that we are using two programs here. We have IntelliCAD as the base or the platform, and then we have Carlson on top of that. And there are going to be a lot of different um, commands that are going to exist twice, one from IntelliCAD and then kind of an enhanced version for the Carlson that's on top of it. So the line command um, in this example showing you how to use line to draw this footprint is kind of a prime example of the two different versions of that command. So I just want everybody to understand that you have access to both. Um, it may be a little tricky making sure you get into one versus the other, but depending on what you're doing, sometimes it's gonna be beneficial to use the line command from IntelliCAD and other times for Carlson. So let's just look at both here. So to get into the IntelliCAD version, I'm gonna type line at the command line. And if you just watch the prompts, you can see it starts the line and then an endpoint. And as I um, enter a few segments, I get different options there. Angle, length, follow, close, undo, etc. All right. So now that's the IntelliCAD line command. To get to the Carlson line command, we're going to go to draw and then line and 2D line. So initially this dialog box with options comes up, you can turn that off if you want, and then it's gonna act everything at the command line so it'll be a little more familiar to you. But you can see right here from the beginning, we've got some different options. Uh, for instance, the Carlson version of this command gives us the option to draw lines between point numbers, okay? But I can have it act just like a basic line command with no point numbers by picking my starting and ending points. And then I'll hit enter to finish. And you can see it also gives us some enhancements such as it keeps track of each segment length and then the total length. But the important thing is that recognition of point numbers that you wouldn't get from the IntelliCAD version. So this can sometimes seem like the Carlson version is working against you if you have to do something simple like this, which it's just plain drafting. Um, the way that I would say a lot of us have done this in the past, if we just needed to sketch out a building pad like this, would be to start a line command, turn our ortho on so that we're drawing um, orthogonal lines, and then you drag your mouse in a direction and type in the distance. It's kind of the old way to do it. It's easy. Everybody understands it. However, if you try to do that using the Carlson line command, it becomes a problem when you try to type in the distance because Carlson's going to try to recognize that distance as a point number, and so it doesn't work. So I just want you to see that Again, whether you're using Carlson on top of AutoCAD, plain AutoCAD, or IntelliCAD, this is going to, that plain AutoCAD or IntelliCAD line command is available to you. So let's do this the old-fashioned way. So I'll start my line command. I want to pick my starting point. And then I'm going to turn my ortho on by type or pressing F8. I'll drag my cursor. Um, straight up and I'll type in the distance of 69.49. I'll drag it to the right and I'll do the next distance. Now, you know, what this is doing is it's drawing everything at its proper dimensions. It's not incorporating the rotation, which again, kind of doing it the way we've always done it. That's fine. We know we can rotate this afterward. So we've got our footprint. 
But now let's do this using Carlton's command. It's going to have some advantages and maybe some disadvantages uh, for what you're doing. But I like it. Um, so I'm going to start with the 2D line command. Um, that's fine. I'm going to pick my starting point. And then at the command line, I'm going to start off um, by typing a D to enter my first distance. My first distance is going to be 69.49 feet. Then I'm going to go ahead and put my angle in for that line by typing an L at the command line and selecting a line segment that I want to parallel. Okay. So this is a little bit confusing. At the command line, we are actually in a bit of a sub menu for the distance where we've got all these different, um, different dimensions we could put in. I'm going to type a Q. All that does is it backs me out one menu level. And then Carlson has this cool thing. Um, it's the extend option. So I'm actually going to hit F8 to turn my ortho off. So you can see everything is really going to be done here at the command line. But I'm going to type an E for the extend option. Now, when I type E, the command line, you've got a ton of options. I'm not going to get into those, but they're very handy. Uh, you may be able to take advantage of some of those. But when I typed an E, it gave me the arrowhead at the end of the line. I can now type R to just make a right turn and then type in my next distance. I can type an L to make a left turn. So again, this may be better to you. Um, to me, I think it makes things a lot easier. It does save me from having to do a rotate afterward. Um, it also gives me the option uh, to do it by points if I ever want. So now that I've gone back to the beginning, I can type an X here, or actually I guess I can just hit enter to end it. So that's just a couple different ways that you can use the tools uh, that you have with Carlson and in Telecad to do something simple like this. So hopefully you found this helpful. I uh, hope it saves you picks and clicks and thanks for watching.